Welcome to ITSS Online Training. I'm Pierre Fredriksen from Seven Technologies Denmark, and I'm here to present our SCADA system, ITSS. This is lesson 18, Report Management System, RMS. The RMS module in ITSS is a module you use for creating customized reports. It is included in the standard version, so it's not an add-on. You can uh, both design and run customized reports from the RMS module, and uh, the RMS functionality is fully embedded in the Excel environment. You can, in RMS, design user-defined reports based on log data, BCL data, and hour, day, month values. And you can also create event-based reports, which is typically used for batch reports in production processes. So let's take a look inside RMS. Now, before you start the RMS module itself, you must start the ITSS ODBC server. And this is done from the ITSS start menu. Double click the icon named ITSS ODBC server. If you double click it again, it will bring up a small pop-up saying that the server is running. Then we go down to the RMS program icon and we double click it. This brings up the RMS control panel. And as you can see from this control panel, the operator can run both standard reports created in the definition module, and he can run the user-defined reports created and designed in RMS. But most importantly, you can design the RMS reports from this control panel, and you do this by opening or editing an RMS template. I've created one in advance, and you will also get this for the exercise after this lesson. Click the Edit RMS Template link at the bottom of the control panel. We move down to the folder where we have placed the Excel file, the template, called RMS Final Template. We double click it, which brings up the Excel application and you can see a new document pane in the right side of the screen. That's the RMS functionality that has been included. Now let's first take a look at the log report that I have created in this sample. Uh, a log report consisting of our values for two flow meters, Q1 and Q2, and two pumps, P1 and P2. And uh, let's take a preview of the report so that you can see what you can actually do in an RMS report. We select the report date first in RMS, and then we click uh, OK to preview the report. Now, as you can see in, uh, on the screen, I have uh, included three different values for the flow meters. That's the minimum, maximum and average values. And for the pumps, I have included the number of state changes during the hour and during the day in the calculated sum. Now, if we zoom in on this report, uh, we can see that we have all the values now on screen. And uh, I will go in and I will manipulate the value 46 as you see, see under Q1 average. When we click at the cell where the value 46 came up, we can see that it's actually a cell reference in Excel. Data definitions D9, that's the cell that it refers to. So that's where I have my RMS tag in IGSS. So I go to the data definition sheet. I move to the top. This is where I have my flow meters. I go to the cell Q1 average and you can see a small red triangle. That's an Excel comment. You need to remove that in order to create the tag again. So I right click, delete comment. And I can also delete the value itself. Now I need to find the Q1 object in order to make this RMS tag again. So I go to the RMS action pane on the right side. I click on the filter button. I type Q1 and I click the filter button again to apply the filter. And now I simply drag and drop the Q1 object into the Excel cell that I want to refer to. I drag it, I drop it, and I get the data extraction dialog box. Now on the 10th of February, I have a number of data as you can see here. We simply see the raw data from the database. These are the log values in, from the IGSS log files. I need to uh, create a um, calculation on this object. I have selected to calculate the average of all these values that we see in the database, and I want an average for every hour. 
When I click apply, I can see the actual values that will end up in my report. And as you can see, 46, that's the first value, that was the one I was manipulating. I click the next button and I can see that uh, the anchor point is D9. You can change that, of course. And we can, in this case, limit the output to 24 values because we only want the 24 hours of the day. Then I click finish and I have my final RMS tag indicated by this Excel comment. So when I move back to the log report tab again, when I click the preview button, I will actually get uh, the 46 value again in the field up there. So that's how you do um, an RMS tag in, in IGSS. The RMS module is now preparing the uh, report for preview and uh, we just need to check that we have the value 46 under average. Yes, we do. Good. We close down the log report and now we move on to another type that you can make in RMS, namely the event-based report, uh, which is typically used for batch uh, reports in production processes. This has been a long requested feature in IGSS and uh, we're happy to show it here. And uh, we move to the event-based report sheet in Excel and now we also need to change the output uh, because the preview we saw before was the log report. Now we need to see the event-based report. I move it into uh, focus by going on the options pane first and then selecting sheets to output and moving event-based report to the active sheets. Here's my report. Uh, I want to see a preview again so that I can see uh, what I have in the uh, report. As you can see, it's a coffee production that we have uh, simulated in our IGSS demo configuration. And uh, it tells us how many coffee productions have been done in the period. So what I want to do now after we see the preview is I want to show you how you can manipulate one of these fields. Now um, we can see on screen that uh, there has been uh, three, um, three coffee productions with three individual blends. So we need to go in and change one of these fields. Let's close the preview and let's move on to uh, the field called event number over here on the left side. Again, a cell reference to data definitions, as we can see, data definitions C67. We go to the data definitions sheet. We move down to the event report section. And uh, we can see that the first event number is in this cell. We, again, we remove the comment so that you can see how we actually create this RMS tag from the beginning. Delete the comment, remove the value of zero. And now uh, we need to go in to see the actual event that we have created. So click on event list in the RMS pane, double click the coffee production event. And uh, as you can see, the coffee production starts when the switch object is turned on and it stops when the uh, switch object is turned off. So that's the start and stop time of the event. We click OK. And uh, we go down to the um, event number cell again. And here we want to show the event number of this coffee production. So I go again to the RMS action pane on the right side. I click on the button called add other information. Second from the right up here in the right corner. Double click it. It says event XX of YY. And that's the one I want. And you can see the other fields here. And the event name is coffee production. And the event number is one, namely the first one. We click OK. And I've created my RMS tag. Now when I go back to the event based report, uh, I, can, I can see this uh, default value in the, um, on the Excel sheet. But if I click the preview button again, I will be able to see the actual value namely event number one of three, as we saw before. So again, this uh, batch report functionality has been very much requested by our users and uh, we are very happy that we have it now in version seven in the RMS module. Again, we can see event number one of three, uh, we have successfully inserted an RMS tag. Okay. Before we um, end the session, uh, I will also draw your attention to the fact that uh, the RMS module actually also features a command line interface, 
which allows you to automatically generate these reports at a specific time. This can be done from the job scheduler module in IGSS. This is a very useful function. So thank you for listening. For more information about RMS, click on our website www.70.dk slash IGSS and here you will also find the exercise uh, which goes through the same things that I've just done in the lesson. Thank you for listening.